Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Madrone, and I'm wondering how everyone's doing these days. Um, the energy has been pretty intense with us being right in the middle of two eclipses with the um, solar eclipse on this past new moon and the lunar eclipse coming up on Sunday with the full moon. This is a very energetically intense time for us and we're kind of caught in the middle of it right now so it kind of feels like we're being we're in a vice being squeezed and um it's can be very energizing and exciting and it's also that squeezing motion is bringing a lot of things to the surface it's bringing a lot of our shadow aspects to the surface things that we've been avoiding and things that are ready to be brought into the light and so if you're feeling a bit crazy at the moment, know that you're not alone. And this energy is working with you to help you cleanse out those old toxic emotions that are ready to go. It's also a really great time to manifest, um, which is a funny paradox because, you know, manifesting really, um, depends on our ability to be grateful, to keep our thoughts clear. And right now our thoughts may be pretty muddy and foggy. <laughs> and so there's this juxtaposition happening where um, things are intense, our shadow self is surfacing, but we also have this momentum behind us um, to clear that out so that we can manifest this new vision of ourselves that we can manifest you know the way that we want to feel live and um, experience life and so it's really um, quite exciting but as the shadow stuff comes to the surface i've been thinking a lot about how um, the ego um, often fights back during the awakening process especially when we feel like we have made some progress, if we've really um, gotten more deeply connected with ourselves and learned uh, you know, how to live more peacefully and not be triggered by all the things that used to trigger us. And then all of a sudden, um, these old past um, shadows, we could call them, come up and they start triggering us and they start bringing up um, a new layer of things and it can be really frustrating and if you really watch the mind and you watch what's happening when when you're being triggered and you watch the constant um, conversation that's happening there from that witness perspective you see that the ego is really fighting for its survival it's trying every trick in the book to hook you back in to get your attention so that you're lost once again in the old programming you're lost in the response and reactive way of living life and it may um it may be really negative and heavy and um self berating and um judgmental one minute and then as soon as you catch on to what's happening, it often switches. And then all of a sudden you are um, telling yourself, oh, you're really great. You deserve more than what you got. And you know, you, or you did this and you did that. And it just switches its perspective within an instant to regain control. And we don't sometimes don't even realize that this is happening. And so we, we have to watch all of it because even those positive emotions can at times be fueled by the ego. The ego just taking us back in and getting the control. And that doesn't mean that we shouldn't feel the positive emotions. By all means, we need to cultivate those positive emotions of um, self-love, of gratitude, of peace, but we need to do it in a way that is not dependent on the inner dialogue. It's not dependent on whether 
we think we did something good or we deserve it or not. It's just a cultivation of these feelings um, because it's how we choose to live. Um, but the ego is really good at using whatever it needs to keep its grip on us and to keep its hold on us. And um, so often that feels really bipolar because it's just flipping all over the place from one emotion to the next, whatever it can use to hook us in. And so just simply taking a step back, observing what's happening, um, grounding yourself and, and you know, taking the, the middle path as the, uh, I believe it's a, a Buddhist um, precept is just that being right in the center, observing, being grounded and not being swayed either in either direction um, is a really powerful practice for us at this time. And especially as you go through the awakening process. Now, sometimes it's not always so easy just to take that um, witness perspective and to take that middle path. Sometimes it can be totally maddening and so hard because there's so much trauma, limiting beliefs, conditioning, and addiction to the past that really keeps us in that cycle where we may for a second be able to step out of it and then we just get sucked right back in. Um, so knowing that if you are able to witness that, that is a huge step in the right direction and um, that you're moving out of it. And the fact that the ego is fighting back doesn't have to fight back so much if you're not making progress. So if it's really fighting back, knowing that you are progressing on your path and your transformation, even if it doesn't feel like that at the moment. And so just hold on tight, you guys, during this um, eclipse period. Keep doing your work. Um, it's really important to do your self-care and um, surround yourself with the people that are supportive and loving and um, setting your intentions for what you want to create in your life. Um, and if you're in a place where you feel stuck in this spiral, and you feel controlled by the triggers and the reactions of the path past and you really want some help moving forward on your path and please private message me reach out and we can talk um, i've been working on a uh, the new version of my spiritual mentorship program that helps people through exactly this type of thing and um, the other um, the other aspects of the awakening process. And so I'm really excited to be starting that soon. So if you want to hear more about that, let me know, send me a private message. And I'm just sending massive love to you all. And it's just really excited for the transformation that is happening during this time. So if you have any questions, leave it in, um, you can leave it in the group or in the comment section to the side and um yeah love you guys i will see you in the facebook group have a great night